Hello again, everyone. So this is video two. Video one was the uh, unboxing. So now we're going to input that uh, activation key that I was talking about. So if you open up the, the document, it tells you very, very clearly, okay, the instructions here, if you're reading in English, okay, you can read down here, and there is a website, and I will put it in the, uh, the Google Doc um, that you've been reading from, okay, but the website is here, um, education.ti.com, okay, so I'll put it in the link. Um, so you're going to go to that website, so that's here. Now I'm going to just take off my video so you can see exactly what's going to happen here. Okay, let's maximize. So it says, uh, first of all, we're going to download and install our product software. Okay, so where are we based? Well, uh, Asia. Okay, Singapore for me. Okay, and then it says download and install the software, open the software and follow the prompts. So you've got to look for your model. So mine's a TIN Spire CX. Two, let's have a quick look. That's the CAX version. Ah, so it's just at the top. These are the guidebooks, sorry. So it's just here. The download TI Inspire CX student software for Mac. Okay? So yeah, I just had to look at that. That was it's this one. This is CX student software for Mac. Okay, so I'm gonna click that see a download in the bottom corner okay just a few seconds and it's all be there okay so I'm going to open up this software um, something to note it this activation key is going to sort of really only work once so don't be um, activating this software on like a like a um, sort of temporary laptop, okay, because you won't be able to transfer it across. So I'll say that again, this is very important that, that you maybe wait till you get your school laptop to install the software. If you store it on a home um, computer, then you're going to have a problem because you won't be able to then use the same activation key on the school computer. And again, I think I'll leave that in the information notes because it's, it's a very important thing, okay? So we're going to go install. Okay, I'll enter my password. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, so if you install this for the first time, just remember, do not lose the key and install it only on the computer that you're going to use all of the time. Um, hopefully for the next two years. Uh, if you're in grade 11, here we go, we're done. Okay, close. Okay, do you want to remove it to the bin? I'm going to move it to the bin. Okay. Okay, we can't do that then, so let's have a look. Okay, let's have a quick look at where the software has been installed. Let's go to the launch pad. Probably at the end. Um, let's try and find the T-line spine, maybe. That one? I think it's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Turn the student software. See, it's a red logo with like a kind of a white parabola. Select your preferred handheld type. Um, we have got, well, I unboxed the TI Inspire CX2. Okay, so I'm going to do that one. Next. So I've got my desktop looking a little bit messy here. Okay. I will try to tie it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. So you have 30 days left in your trial period. Do you have a license number? Yes, I do have a license number. So I'm going to go next. That's in. Can we maximize this window now? Okay, so we go next. Let's minimize this down. Right now, I'm going to enter my license key. Remember, once I've done this, this will not be active for anybody else. Okay. This is why I'm saying use it on the laptop or um, uh, the computer that you're going to keep. So don't think that this can be transferred because it won't be.
along code here, ensure to double check. Okay, right. Thank you for your patience. Try next. Yeah, okay, there's a bit of information. Here's a country. I think I'll just select all of the countries because it's not the US really. Um, I accept the license key and the agreement. Successful activation. Okay, click finish. Exit the wizard. Okay, so let's try it. Here we go. Uh, not right now. Great. Okay, so it's working. So uh, the activation key worked. I now have the student software, so we do not need my physical calculator here to do the work. Um, I am going to just zoom out a little bit. Okay, now, um, in a third video, and I'll link to this, I will show you how to uh, navigate around this menu and how to use the online software. Um, the one thing I'll just show you is up at the top left here, if, you're, if this is what you're seeing, it's not very helpful because where are all the buttons for the calculator? So you can just go over to here and you see this little calculator icon, you click that, okay, and then we've now got the calculator up. I think if you click, you can have it as dark or light mode. Um, so here is now the calculator buttons, and this is the screen. So if I uh, just minimize that slightly, okay. Uh, you can see now, this is what we'll work on on the next video. Okay, uh, thanks again for your patience and that. If there's any problems with the activation key or getting the calculator or not knowing what to do, please contact me. Uh, Anthony or Phil, um, Philip, to uh, get a little bit of help and assistance on that, okay, because it's quite an important item that we're going to use for the next couple of years. And if you're doing this in grade 9 or 10, you're going to be using it for even longer. Okay, so I'm just going to stop this video and start uh, video 3 for you.